welcome to the Foodmind Project, a course for making an e-commerce website for selling delicious foods online. In this course, you will learn the necessary tools and skills to make a fully fledged website using Angular and Node.js from scratch. Hi, my name is Nasir. I started programming about 16 years ago in high school and I love to code. I designed this course for anyone who loves to make a website using Angular platform and Node Express framework. By the end of this course, you will be able to design a beautiful and responsive front end and an scalable back end. You can also deploy your website on popular cloud servers and have online payment functionality using payment gateways. You just need to open up your favorite code editor with me and start programming from the beginning to the end. I'll teach you creating object-oriented components using Angular CLI, defining APIs using Express Router, having different pages using Angular Router, MongoDB Atlas for storing and querying the data, Reactive Forms and HTTP Client for handling form inputs and send the data back and forth to the APIs, managing application states using RxJS, handling authentication and authorization using JSON Web Token, and also you will learn how to deploy your website on cloud servers like Heroku and using the PayPal gateway to have payment functionality on your website. Okay, here you can see the things that we need to install. We need to install Git, VS Code, Node.js, and Postman. Okay, for installing Git, you need to go to the git-scm.com. Then based on your operating system, it will offer a download for you. My current operating system is macOS, so it's offering download for Mac. When you click on it, if you're on Windows, you're gonna get a setup file and you can install it. But here in macOS, you get a shell command like this. Brew is a package manager. So if you don't have it installed, you can click on this link and go over the installation process. Then you can easily write brew install git and install it on your macOS. Okay, this was for the git. The second and the most important thing is VS Code, where we build our real application. By coming to the code.visualstudio.com address, you can see a page like this, where once again, it offers a download based on your operating system. But for example, if you are on a Mac, but you want to download the VS Code for Windows, you can click on this down arrow and select the download based on other operating systems. Or you can click click on this download here and you will see a more understandable page like this so you can click on the downloads okay this was for the vs code let's go on the node.js you need to go to the node.js.org website and here you will see two different versions of node.js the right one that is the current one and the left one that is the lts version or long-term support this one is more stable and this one has the latest features i personally prefer the stability so i choose the left one here if you click on this link it will download the node.js based on your operating system once again but if you want to download it for other operating systems you can click on other downloads and click on other options based on what you see here okay and the last thing that you need to install is the postman it's an application like this that we use for testing our apis for downloading the postman, you should come over to this section that has download the desktop app. Three buttons for three different operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Penguin, that is the logo of Linux. So here, once again, you need to click and it will give you a file that you can install just like other things that you install on your operating system. So I will not dig into the installation process. Here, I just want to show you what you need to install. Now that you know what to install, it's time for configuration. The only thing that we want to configure is the VS Code. Here you just need to open up your VS Code. Then you need to go to the extensions part that has this icon. Then you need to search for Angular Essentials. 
and you need to click on Angular Essentials version 13. The benefit of using this extension is that it is an extension pack. So you can have all the necessary things for developing Angular with installing only one package. So click on the install. You need to wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed. And after that, you have what you need to start your development. As you can see here, as a part of this extension pack, we have material icon theme. It is the package that will change the look of your icons and makes it beautiful. If you like it, you can press Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P in Mac OS and write file icon theme. Then select material icon theme. So you can have a beautiful icon set like this. Okay, this was for this lesson. On the next lesson, you're going to install Angular and create our project. You've been watching Code with Nasir and I hope to see you next time.